Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another exciting episode of Network Admin Life. I'm coming to you from the uh, Network Admin Life Command Bunker, also known as my garage. It's a uh, beautiful spring day. It's uh, cloudy, it's drizzly, and uh, it's a great day to be uh, sheltering in place here in sunny California. Uh -huh. Um, thought I'd shift gears a little bit today um, and do an actual demo of something rather than just walking around talking. Um, so earlier this week we had an issue where there was a computer on the wrong VLAN. So how do we find that computer? Because uh, they didn't know where it was. <laughs> the help desk didn't know where it was. So how do you know it's on the right VLAN? How do you know it's on the wrong VLAN? Uh, and we're going to go there. So okay, they want to change the VLAN of this computer. So um, I said, all right, well, give me the IP address. We'll use my fancy WizBang software to search for it. And uh, let me show you that fancy WizBang software. Let me share my screen. And say share. There we go. There's the fancy WizBang software. It's called uh, NetSite. And it's an Extreme product um, by Extreme Networks. Um, you can use it for, you know, monitoring alarms. You can see all the things on the side there. Um, it also does the archives of the switches, so um, all the uh, switch configurations, if they change, it'll show you what's changed, it'll automatically back it up every night. Um, you can do all kinds of, of wonderful stuff with it, including searching your network for IP addresses or MAC addresses or whatever. So I told them, okay, give me the IP address. I'm going to plug it into this fancy software here and we're going to search for it. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, Here's an IP address. It's not the one we were looking for earlier. This is my workstation at work. Um, so we're going to look for that one. I'll click search. It's going to open up a new tab here and we'll see if it'll find it. Now earlier when I was practicing this, it didn't find it. And luckily it did find the workstation that my help desk guys were looking for. Um, but if it hadn't, what would I do? and it's probably not going to find it. See, it came up blank. I don't know, I don't know where it is. Thank you, fancy WizBang software, you've been very helpful. So I'm gonna go over here to my core switch and um, see where I was practicing this earlier. So uh, rather than type it all out, I'm just gonna use some uh, <laughs> up arrow action here. So there's the IP address we're looking for. It's 172, 31, 138, 136. Where is that? I'm going to say show ARP for that. Show me the ARP table for that guy. So there's the IP address. There's its uh, MAC address or hardware address right here. Um, it's uh, been on the network for over 57 days. Um, last updated 45 minutes ago. It's on VLAN 140, and we're seeing it off out on lag 0 0.3. Um, so a lag is, is a uh, logical interface that Extreme uses. You can bond uh, one or more interfaces and create an aggregate link out of it. That's what the lag stands for, link aggregate. Um, and I believe the Cisco world, they call it an M lag. Um, it's just called a lag, and this is in the uh, Extreme world. So um, I don't know off the top of my head, well, actually, I do. But let's say I didn't know off the top of my head what's out connected to lag three. So what I would do is, uh, since I know I can't run this particular command off of a logical interface, I have to uh, reveal the underlying physical interfaces that, that make up this lag. So we're going to do show LACP lag that zero. Oops, got three. Okay, there's the two physical interfaces, TG5.13 and TG13.13. TG stands for 10 gig, and there's GE, which is gigabit ethernet. So I'm gonna do show LLDP port remote info on those two ports. So it's basically gonna uh, pull LD LLDP the LLDP protocol, link level discovery protocol, and tell me what's out there. So here's, here's the switch it sees out there. So Okay, fine, we're gonna go to that switch. I'm not gonna bother uh, telnetting to it because I've already opened it up. So here we are on that switch. 
Um, now, the command set on this, this is a, a C series extreme switch. What we were just on was an S series. C series secure stacks aren't quite as feature rich as the S series. Um, so we're just going to have to make do with a show Mac. Uh, what is it? Address. And then give it the name of the address, which I have saved over here in a notepad. Because that's how I roll. Go ahead and say, okay, show me where this MAC address is. It says, I see it on port 113. Well, is it really there? Or is that just another switch? So let's just do a show LLDP port remote info uh, GE.1.13. Oh, there's another switch out there. System name switch 18. Uh, this is a newer switch. This is uh, an XOS switch. Uh, it's not a S series or a C series. So it's going to be a little more feature rich. It's going to be a little bit easier to find it once we get there. So let's jump to that switch. So on this switch, what would the command be to find it? Well, I could do show FDB and then the MAC address. There's a, there's a whole bunch of different things I should I could do, but what I'm going to do, since I know the command on this switch, is show node alias. Uh, now I'll do it with the MAC address since I already know what that is. Show node alias for this MAC. So if you had the IP address, you could put an IP and then the IP address, um, or if you knew what port, you could put port. But without further ado, this is what the command does. So it's going to show me the port that this, this is on. It's going to show me the MAC address. It's going to show me the IP address, the VLAN, and the protocol that it saw that on. If it was UDP or IP or DNS or anything, it'll, it'll show you that. Um, so it sees it there. Well, let's just make sure. I'm going to do a show neighbors. I'm just going to do just a blanket. Show neighbors. Uh, what the heck is it? Oh, show LLDP neighbors. You got to get the command right for them to work. Funny how that works. So on, I can see I got two LLDP neighbors out there right now on port 12. That's the switch we just came from. And this switch, the neighbor ID is, and that's actually the name of my workstation. So I know I have finally found my workstation. So there it is. There's the IP. That's what it sees out there. Um, we have found it. It is on port three of this switch. So now I could change the VLAN. I could disable the port. I could do whatever I needed to do with this port because I have found the long lost workstation that we were searching for. So. That's, um, that's how I do it. You can do it any number of ways. I don't know how you do it in the Cisco world, but uh, I'm an extreme networks guy. So if you do run into any extreme networks, um, that's one way you can do it. If you have your, like I said, if you have Cisco, um, it's the same basic principle, just uh, you know, figure out what your commands would be. I'm pretty for sure they're, they're fairly similar, except when you get to the LLDP commands might be a little bit different. You might be using a CDP or something like that, Cisco Discovery Protocol. So anyway, that's it. I've rambled on long enough. I hope you enjoyed the, the short demo and actually getting to see me do something rather than just walk around and talk. So um, as always, uh, God bless, God's grace and peace to you. Uh, stay safe, wash your hands, um, and don't hoard toilet paper. We'll catch y'all next time.